Well, they're coming to Chicago for the holidays from all around the world, and they bring with them all sorts of foods and plants that can be potentially harmful. That's right. WJN's Dana Rebick shows us how authorities at O'Hare are on the lookout for those very items. Oh, yes. Let's get ready to go. All set. You ready? Let's go. Excuse us, please. K9. In the International Terminal at O'Hare, Oz, the agriculture detector dog, is busy at work. K9 working. We just go out there and see what he finds. I'm just following his nose. Oscar, let's go. Oz is one of 10 beagles at the airport trained by the USDA to sniff all sorts of prohibited food and plant items passengers try to bring into the U.S. in their luggage. You have something to eat inside? Um, what do you think? Maybe, yeah. Okay, I think so. I'm just going to take a look inside. The salami is not allowed because it comes from pigs and, um, it could carry diseases like African swine fever. When Oz locates a scent, he will approach a bag and sit next to it. Today, finding a banana and an apple. Very good, Mr. Man. And a bigger haul near a baggage carousel. Let's take a look. And this is just um, stuff wrapped up in leaves. Those can carry a lot of diseases, sausage, meats. There can be a ton of insects. In this area of the airport, a collection of confiscated food and plant items from the last two days. Customs officials typically see a spike during the holidays. This year, a 36% increase. That's a cow skin seed pod we see from West Africa that uh, I believe they use for cooking. Last week, we had a pretty large seizure of bush meat that looked like it had uh, non-human primates in it. Somewhere in here among the bush meat, I had a, a piece of a, a, a hoof. Chief Corey Everton in charge of separating the contraband and discarding it. I have a passion for what I do here. I uh, am a, a biologist by training, and I feel it's very important to keep invasive species out. To prevent the spread of disease in plants, animals, and humans. All the meat products taken are steam sterilized before being thrown out. The fruits and other items go into an industrial grinder. We just say enjoy it over there. Um, it can't come in because of the, the risk factor. Good job. Let's go. Let's go. There is a big education piece to all of this. Travelers who do not declare these items and are flagged typically will receive a warning, but they can be fined a minimum of three to $500. At O'Hare International Airport, Dana Rebic, WGN News.